So a lot of us Filipinos are not strangers to spicy food. In fact, sometimes the hotter the better. But for me, I'm finding my fiery fix right here at Chihuahua. As I looked around the place, I couldn't stop thinking of all the mouth-watering Mexican dishes I'll get to try. But first, I need to do my job. Hey, how are you? Mom? Hello. Good to see you. All right, I'm so excited to be here at Chihuahua. Yes. In front of me right now is actually a friend of mine, Inez Cabarrus, and she is the owner of Chihuahua. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I've heard so much about this place. Oh, and yeah. I know it's all about like Mexican food. Mm -hmm. but what makes it different? First of all, we're actually a Tex-Mex restaurant, mm -hmm. which is um, not exactly authentic Mexican, Mexican food, but it's more of an Americanized version. So we really specialize in nachos, burritos, mm -hmm. and tacos and of course margaritas. We've also got probably the biggest collection of hot sauces in the city over here behind us. The Wall of Flame, or the Sauce Library, is a collection of the most tongue-burning sauces from all over the world. And I know, I mean, you can customize basically your spice because of oh, absolutely. everything here behind me that yep. I can see. I mean, what made you decide to have, like, I guess, all different types of hot sauces? Uh, well, just the fact that we love them. And um, Eliana and I, uh, on a trip to Texas, went to this store and they literally had an entire aisle. It was like a supermarket, just all hot sauces. And we were like, this is amazing. This would look so cool if it was in a restaurant. Why is it called Chihuahua? Chihuahua is on the border of Mexico and the United States, so it's the border state. And as our food is Tex-Mex, um, it sort of symbolizes the idea that our food is border food. So it's a combination of both Mexican uh, and American. Also, um, I Chihuahua is an expression you say when you eat something particularly spicy or when you're having an especially good time. Well, I'm excited to say I Chihuahua to anything that I'm <laughs> going to be eating here. So I know that you customize your stuff, so I'm excited to maybe try making my own burrito. Absolutely. Let me take you over to the prep counter and let's meet the burrito master himself. The resident burrito master is a DJ turned restaurateur, Elian Habayeb, a Texan himself, who will show me how to make a steak burrito. So now we're going to be starting by learning how to make a special burrito. That's right. Well, we're famous for our burritos, and you start out by putting a flour tortilla on the warmer. Whip out a big piece of aluminum foil. Let's place this on top of it. Okay. Next, the secret to a good burrito is the ingredients. We start with a good refried bean. Mm, like that? Mm -hmm. I'm the slowest burrito maker ever. Some uh, guacamole. guacamole. This oh, is uh, guacamole. avocados that are smashed and mm. seasoned properly. I love guacamole. Spread it out nicely, okay. Next is Mexican rice. Oh, oh I love the smell of the rice. Just spread it nice, even. That's good. Our queso, this is melted cheese. It's a little bit spicy. Mm. Yes. That's delicious. Steak. Okay. Just grab as much as you want of that. Oh my god, okay, don't tell me that. We just spread this in here too. Mm -hmm. Onions. Yummy! Black beans. Beautiful. Okay. Now the cold ingredients. Pico de gallo. I love these, so uh, half of this? Yes, yeah, so you can close it. Oh. Some lettuce and a little sour cream. Perfect. Now the rolling is gonna be a little tough. So we roll, mm -hmm. close this way? Yes. Okay, maybe okay. we can leave it to Elian. <laughs> close the burrito. One, two. two. And then roll. Oh, okay. And then cut it in half. Yes. Oh my God, I can't even cut. It's beautiful. That's a really good steak. Finally, time to dig in. Of course, my authentic Tex-Mex meal won't be complete without some Nacho Grande and one of Chihuahua's best sellers, the Chihuarita. It's their version of the Mexican classic margarita with spice salt for a signature nasty kick. It's actually really juicy, even down to the meat, to the rice, everything we put in. Of course, it helps. There's guacamole in there, which I love. And uh, now, of course, you should always have a nice, lovely side dish. Cheers. Mm. Ay Chihuahua indeed. But before I can chop down all my food, Elian here challenges me to a chili off. Bring it! Round one. So first we start with Jules Jalapeno Sauce. All right. This is uh, Samuel Jackson's brand. <laughs> I may not be able to speak after this challenge. Uh. That one's quite light. Nice, little tangy. Mm -hmm. tangy. Very good. That's it? 
You guys have to do better than that. Round two. Next is a sauce that is label-less so far mm -hmm. that we, uh, we call the H-bomb. H really stands for habanero. In the future, label is going to say that it melts your face off. Okay, I'm being generous. All right. Touché. Oh, I can taste that carrot in there. And then my mouth is on flame. <laughs> it's a flame that's kind of painful. We dropped the H-bomb. <laughs> this is not something for the faint of heart. Now that's what I'm talking about. Round two goes to H-bomb. Third and final round, tiebreaker. This is the last one that we have here. This is a famous sauce in the States. It's called Dave's Insanity Sauce. So we'll just let the label speak for itself. It'll be fine. <laughs> just, I don't just trust go. you. Just, <laughs> I don't trust you at all. Oh, there. There's a little more on the bottom. Okay, maybe the one drop wasn't... Oh, wait, no, it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> so, in the beginning, it tastes like nothing happened. As slowly it starts burning down your throat, <laughs> I can suddenly breathe better. I concede. That was one hell of a hot sauce. Well, looks like you survived, Karen. Congratulations. Thank you. I barely survived the last one, but I enjoyed the food. It was amazing. And for somebody like me who loves spicy food, I hope I did pretty okay. So as I continue eating my burrito, and of course, I'm going to be eating it with some hot sauce. Good to go back for Emilio.